In my current master's class, we've been asked to critically evaluate a website using a screencast. We often ask our students to do the same thing when they're researching for a project or paper. The method I'm going to use to evaluate the Pacific Northwest Tree Octopus website is the real method, where R stands for read the URL, E stands for examine the content, A stands for ask about the author or owner, and L stands for look at the links. The first step in this process is to look and notice that the ending of this URL is .NET. This information tells me that this is a personal page that belongs to an individual and it's not affiliated with an organization or an educational entity. The next step is examine the content. I'm currently clicked on the information tab and if I scroll down I see that there's quite a bit of information here. I also notice that it tells me this is endangered and I start to see a lot of graphics. If I scroll back to the top I can click on sightings, for example, and you scroll down and see these tr supposed tree octopus sightings. Um, as I scroll through these pictures, I realize that most of these look fake. This picture here looks like a crab, not an octopus, and this one doesn't look real either. And when I finally get down to the blue octopus, I start to really question the validity of this website. When I scroll back up to the top, and I'm able to click on frequently asked questions. I get this woman in this video in the back um, and it's related to Merriam-Webster, the dictionary. At this point I'm kind of wondering, huh, maybe this is a valid website, maybe it's not a hoax. Um, but if you click and listen to her, all she's doing is explaining the proper way to say octopus in the, in the plural form. It, has absolutely nothing to do with the Northwest Tree Octopus. So once again I'm wondering is this really a valid website? Um, and as I scroll down even farther I all of a sudden see the word Sasquatch. I know from living in the Pacific Northwest my entire life that the Sasquatch is folklore much as the Loch Ness Monster and such things. So now I'm really skeptical of this website. I'm going to go ahead and scroll back up to the top because now I'm looking for the author or the owner. And I'm scrolling up and down and up and down on information and I can't really find any information about who owns this website. In the very bottom corner there is a link to click on um, to send an email um, to address concerns to Lyle Zapato. So I'm going to scroll back up to the top and I'm going to click on this blog link because I want to see where this takes me. And it takes me to Lyle Zapato's uh, blog where I start to just read a lot of very bizarre information. Um, I see some really old pictures and at this point, I'm pretty sure that I can um, chalk it up to this website being a hoax. This is just odd and strange. So I'm going to go ahead and click, scroll back to the top and click back to where I was before. Um, when I'm looking at links here and I click on temperate rainforests, it takes me to Wikipedia, which isn't necessarily a bad place to be. Oops but now I've gone and gotten out of the original website, which I can get right back in, no problem. Um, and then I go and click on some of these other links, and they take me to Wikipedia. Not necessarily a bad thing like I said before. Here, let's click on the Sasquatch. And lo and behold, you go to another web another website um, by this Lyle Zapato, and this time it's related to the Sasquatch. So at this point, I'm pretty sure his website is a hoax and that it's bogus. I've looked at all of the steps in real to evaluate critically whether I think this website is true or not, and I've come to the conclusion that it is not true and that it's a hoax website meant to trick people into believing something that's not true. Um, I hope that my students will use the same method to evaluate websites and can really think critically and look at websites and really ask themselves, does this make sense? Does this sound right? Because often if it sounds wrong, it is wrong.